first, I would like to congratulate you on your New Year's resolutions. I tend to prefer calling them life changes because it frames a more permanent context in my mind. That's really good. Life changes is really good because then it doesn't also fade, right? New Year's resolutions fade by March or April. I love that, Jeremy. Thank you for giving me that. I was highly amused about some of the questions you got this past week and impressed by how tactfully you handled them. I am sorry if this is too personal or if you've already answered it in a previous episode, feel free not to answer it. But hearing about your sexual escapades in the business, I couldn't help but wonder if you enjoyed all of it and how it affected your personal sex life. Crossing an item off a laundry list comes to mind. Thank you for your time. Good luck on your travels. The secret of success is to be ready for the opportunity when it comes. Live long and prosper. Lovely email, Jeremy. Thank you so much for that. So it is a great question because I did enjoy all of the sex. There were very few scenes that were awkward or maybe it wasn't a good pairing or maybe somebody wasn't feeling well that day. That does happen. You know, if you've taken allergy medicine or anything that could make you off, this is a very intimate business, not a lot of room for error. But I did things on set that I would never have the courage to do in my real life. I checked everything off the long joy list. And, you know, when I'm recycling my content on OnlyFans, which is where I use my library from the years of scenes that I own through my company, scenes that I bought back, that's also the real Lisa Ann. So, you know, I interact. I do an hour of direct messages a day, so I get to keep up with my following. I get a lot of sports conversations in there. I enjoy it. I do a live chat once a month on my page, so I enjoy it. But when I'm going back and uploading the content is when I actually really, it soaks in like, wow, you did this. Wow, you've already done this. Like, wow, this is great. So it made me a lot more confident to try things. I felt like I was in a safe space, people being tested, someone else on set, knowing who your partners were. I could never randomly at this point in my life imagine going out and doing any of those things in a real setting ever again. So I'm glad I did it because I pushed myself. I tried new things. I knew what I liked and what I didn't like. By the time I was 30 years old, I was already really understanding what things I was into. Then I grew and I started to crave different things and I tried them. There were things I tried that I was like, "Mm, you know, not for me. I'm simple. I didn't like that, you know, but it was allowed. It allowed me to explore my sexuality and feel so complete in that department of my life that it's not something that I'm pining for or that I'm searching out or that I feel I will ever have a lack of because I could just go and upload old content and relive at any day, at any time, my favorite favorite. So Jeremy, that was a great question, a great close to the question and a great word you share about life changes. 